let's move on. Look ahead to week nine of the NFL. And there's a few teams on buys. The wonderful Niners are one of them. But that doesn't mean that the action stops because we've got some serious, serious games this week. Now, the big one we'll kick off with is the Chiefs versus the Bucks. Now, I think that is... It's going to be a ridiculous game. The Chiefs still undefeated. Mahomes has got into a bit of a knack, though. I think he's thrown eight consecutive INTs in games. So he's, he's got a bit of a problem. Baker Mayfield... Obviously, missing out on his receiving core. But he still managed to put some serious points this weekend. And luckily and narrowly lost to the Falcons. Where do you see this matchup going, Mr Greenwood? I think last season we had a team who were exactly like the Kansas City Chiefs. And that was the Philadelphia Eagles last season. Mm. I think they went ended up going about 10-0. and But they yeah. look so bad. Uh, and this Chiefs team is doing something very, very similar. Mm-hmm. And I can see this week them being pushed over a little bit by that okay. uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers team. I can see Baker Mayfield showing up uh, and getting the ball around. I can see Bucking Irving on the ground getting some yards. And I can see uh, Patrick Mahomes again kind of crumbling under the pressure a little bit. We know mm-hmm. how good he can be, but I think he likes to play down to his competition. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? I don't think he likes to be the MVP quarterback every game because he doesn't need to be. He just needs to be solid. And that's kind of what he's been this season. He hasn't been that $250 million quarterback that we know he that we know he can be. Um, so for me this week, I can see the Tampa Bay Buccaneers rushing all over, passing all over mm-hmm. and keeping the ball nice and safe all over the Kansas City Chiefs while Patrick Mahomes adds another couple of interceptions to his ongoing tally. What do you reckon this week, mate? Who, who's getting the win? Is it the Kansas City Chiefs or is it the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? I think this is going to be a, a battle of the tight ends in this one. Uh, we saw Kelsey this week get the ball, finally got his first touchdown this season. And then on the flip side of it, we've got Baker's favourite red zone target uh, in Mr. K. Dotton. And he's someone who's been putting up points, he's been putting up yards, and he's a big, big presence. And I think it's going to be a serious battle on both sides. Who can get their big, big receiver onto the ball. This season, you know, Mahomes has really struggled to do that with Travis Kelsey. Um, and I think that is really going to be the, the big factor in this. I think that if the Bucs can get K-Dot on the ball and get those yards and get the points, I think they will 100% win. Um, and I think that that is a point to be definitely made this weekend and a matchup to keep your eye on. Uh, another game which I'm very surprised we picked, to be honest with you, but we'll run with it, we'll all run with it, uh, is the Tennessee Titans versus the Patriots. Now, Mr. Greenwood, I'll let you take the floor with this one because if we were going to be talking about Titans and Will Levis was starting, I'd get it. I'd be here for a Gia Duddy talk, but he's not starting. And it's Mason Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, and Malik Willis by the looks of it. So what do you see in this game that you think is going to be a big, big matchup to watch? To be honest with you, mate, I thought Drake May was going to start. So I don't know why I've chosen this game of football. Uh, I hope Drake May starts because I think he's very, very good at the quarterback position. Um, I think when you look at this game, I think on the surface of things, you look at two bad teams with no expectations, all right? And that's why it's going to be a good game. <laughs> that's why it's going to be a good game, mate, because there's going to be crap defences versus mm. crap offences. All right. There's going to be points. There's going to be defensive scores. There's going to be special team moments. I can just see this being a bit of an all-time ESPN classic game to to give the uh, to give the CFB a shout out. Um, I can see that I can see the Patriots winning this one. Um, but I just think let's give the little man a shout out for a change. Okay, L- let's Mason Rudolph. Mm-hmm. You can take Will Levis <clears throat> out of the Titans, but you can't take the Titans out of Will Levis. That's basically what it showed this week. Um, each week. Will Levis has had a highlight reel of absolute terror, absolute torturous quarterback yep. play. Uh, and Mason Rudolph had uh, another reel like that again this week, throwing some ugly-ass interception. <laughs> um, on the Patriots side of things, if Drake May does start, um, which you're saying he you won't, but let's pretend you will. Uh, if Drake May does start, I think the way that he's been playing quarterback the season before obviously got his head absolutely blown off last week mm-hmm. um, has been really, really good. It's been yep. looking like... Um, Kind of, he's kind of been the, the quarterback out of this draft that's gone the most under the radar, the most yeah. unnoticed because he's gone to the worst team. Right, mm-hmm. he's gone to the worst team and he's not really been playing. Um, but I think he does have a fantastic future in this league. He does have a very bright future, and so I hope that we get to see him throw the rock sometime soon. 
100%. And it was Jacoby Brissett, not Malik Willis. So my apologies. I was going to say, I, 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 I don't want to call bad. you out. I, I don't want to call you out. I know, I know you start sometimes mine. a bit dodgy, mate. But come on, you better go. <laughs> I had the Packers on mine. But yeah, I think the Pats have had a sneaky, good season, to be honest with you. I mean, dismantling the Jets last week. Uh, I think Gerard Mayo has done a really good job, to be fair. I, I really had them down to be absolute dog water. Um, and I thought that no one was going to come anywhere near them. But they've managed to win games, put points on the board and look fairly competent. I agree with you. I think Drake May has had, had a really good start to the season. He looks like a real threat on the ground with his legs or, you know, passing. Um, I think, again, when they can invest in that team, the running uh, sort of attack looks a bit better this week. Ramon Joe Stevenson actually managed to keep the ball in his hands and get into the end zone. Um, and I think that that is a big, big part of this Pats team is if they can keep the ball in the hands of their own team and not turn it over, then they're going to start to actually gel, learn better, work together better. And that's what you need for that uh, Pats organization, trying to rebuild after this Belichick uh, and Brady era. But the Tennessee Titans, <sighs> bless them. DeAndre Hopkins, he's had, a, he's had enough. He's pissed off. It's not looking great there. <laughs> I must say, it's it's not looking too great, to say the very least. Can I, can I just jump in there, mate? Have you seen the nightlife in Tennessee? Well, incredible, incredible. Maybe, maybe we incredible. should go and visit, go and have a look. The Ibiza of the South is what they're calling it, mate. <laughs> it looks unbelievable. The country bar, the uh, the cowboy hats, mm -hmm. the cowgirl boots, mm -hmm. uh, and all that's in between, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm a big fan. Should, should we hit everyone with our pitch and see if anyone, you know, is interested? Oh, yeah. So we've decided that we're very desperate to go over to America to see the cowboys and the cowgirls. Um, and so <laughs> we're, we're trying to put, a, you know, a fun together and, and, and put like, you know, some feelers out there. Who wouldn't love to see two clueless Brits heading over to America and finding out about the college game, going around all the different places and then truly experiencing the college atmosphere behind a paywall, obviously. Um, oh, and that being a wonderful TV show program that we saw in love, actually what it's like for Brits to go over to America. And I, in my head, that's what it's going to be like when we go over. And I hope <laughs> that if it isn't, we can document that and share it with the people to put off other British boys from going over to America. Um, and, and not enjoy themselves as much as we think we will. So if anyone's interested, let us know. Any, you know, big time producers out there, what wouldn't you want? Or small, time. Indian, or small time producers. Diversity galore. And two men that definitely will end up in jail if they went and visited America. Because what do we need more than, uh, than a couple of straight, one white male, one other male, uh, <laughs> kind of dominating, <laughs> dominating the scene? Um, mm. It can be like... What could we call it, Taron? Be like Maybe Max like and the... Paddy, but American. Yeah, I rate that. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, like that. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. The athletes and the fratleets. I, that's what I was going to go with. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, that sounds yeah. about right. That I'll take that. Come on, there's, there's one more game left to talk about this week. Let's, there let's, is one let's more game. It up very, very quickly. And that is the Green Bay Packers versus the Detroit mm -hmm. Lions. That is Jordan Love. Of course, oh, yeah. my MVP for the season uh, versus Jared Batman Goff. Uh, mm -hmm. Who gets the victory in this game, mate? Whose running attack is going to be more uh, more invaluable? Is it going to be Josh Jacobs? Is it going to be Jamal Gibbs? Um, uh, yeah, and which team takes away the W? I think the scary thing about the Lions is everything is clicking for them. I don't think I've seen a team like this where literally everything is clicking for them. I know the Chiefs have been good. But it's ridiculous. I mean, last weekend you put up 50 plus points and it wasn't just points from the offense. It's defensive scores. It's special team scores. That's absolutely unheard of. Um, and I think that that is just attributed to the fact of, we've mentioned a million times, Dan Campbell has got a really un real good unit there. Um, and he's just spoiled for choice. You know, oh, Jared Goff's tired. Oh, give it to Montgomery. He'll toss one into the end zone. And if Armand Ross double team, Sam Laporte or Alave, oh, sorry, Jameer gives a run 70 yards to the house. He's so blessed. And that team is absolutely firing. I would be shocked if they aren't the one seed. I would be shocked if they don't go to the championship game. I would be very shocked if they don't win the Super Bowl this year, to say the very least. Ooh. And I think they absolutely stamp on the Packers because Jordan Love cannot keep the ball in the hands of the receivers more than... 20 times a game, to say the very, very least. 
Uh, interesting take. I, I like the take though, mate. I, I do think that this week the Lions will be too much for the Bucks. I do think they'll run all over the, all over the team. Uh, I think that Lions defensive line will be formidable once again, especially mm. stopping Josh Jacobs. I think we've seen a little bit this season when Josh Jacobs has those big games, the mm. Packers tend to have big games themselves. If you can cancel him out and give the ball in the hands of Jordan Love and give him the opportunities to make plays, nine times out of ten, I'm back in. I'm kind of back in the DBs in that case. As much as I love Jordan Love, uh, but if you can shut down that, shut down those running lanes, I think you're shutting down those passing lanes as well. Um, the Lions, Jared Goff, Jameer Gibbs, Sam Laporta, God rest Aiden Hutchinson though, bro. I, I, I think he's missing out on what could have been an unbelievable season for him. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, I can see them going all the way. I, I've got no doubt. I think if they do go all the way, what a story. What a story. 100%. Jared Goff being the first overall pick, discarded, um, sent to an organisation where he was supposed to die and, and he was sent to the, to the wolf pack. But he's mm-hmm. come back leading the pack, hasn't he, bro? Oh, he's come wow. back absolutely incredible, leading the Lions uh, and, and leading them and feasting on everyone that mm-hmm. comes into his path. Uh, Jared Goff looks incredible. Jameer Gibbs looks incredible. Dan Campbell, wow. What a man. We mentioned him before. We'd have run through brick rolls for him. Mm-hmm. Um, if he was my coach in five-a-side, regardless of any other thing, uh, I'm, I'm sure we'd, 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 we'd put a lot of a lot of graphing yeah, for him, wouldn't we, mate? And I think the play calling's phenomenal. I mean, to have the balls to be testing out all these plays, I mean, that's that's the second time this season where they've had someone else throw <laughs> a touchdown uh, that isn't a quarterback. Those plays can win you Super Bowls like we've seen before. And testing them out during the season, not only does it mean that, yeah, teams are looking out for them, but it means that you know that you can, you know, you can do those plays, the hook and ladders. When it comes to it in clutch time, it's been successful once. It can be successful again. Then they're still waiting for a big man to catch a touchdown. We're waiting for that day. Um, but I just think the play calling has been absolutely unbelievable. Probably the best we've seen this season so far. And I think that's a big, big part on both sides of the ball, why the lines have been so, so good this year. And you heard it here first on the All Out Brits podcast. You, <laughs> you're 2025 Super Bowl champions, Detroit Lions. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's MVP true. Jared Goff. Are we calling MVP Goff? Mm, maybe Mr. Daniels for MVP. Maybe Mr. That. Daniels. What a shout <laughs> as well. Mm, Only Mr. time Daniels. will tell though, my friend. Well, yeah, Only time, Only will, time tell. will tell. 